Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Bo Nose player drops for Monday, a little bit of Team of the Week news, and a few other things I do want to go over in this video. But before we get into the video, guys, and head into everything, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, I will have a link and code for you guys down below to get up to a free 100 bucks on your first deposit, which is just some free NFL fun, some free NFL daily fantasy lineups. You can't really miss out on that, right? But we got a zero chill login reward, typical stuff for 2,500 snowflakes. I'm hoping this, for whatever reason, does increase as we get closer to Christmas. That would have been really cool if it just increased slowly, because there's a lot of like, there's a lot of ways to use snow, and even more so, it's the snow amounts have increased. It's not like how it used to be where 4,000, 5,000 snow was a lot. Like now, it's like 100,000 snow. Like I would really like to see a little bit more on that, but that is what it is on that. But let's go check out the bonus players. And as far as team of the uh, team of the week goes, guys, as you guys do know, team of the week is suspended until further notice. Uh, as you guys do know, during the holiday they usually go on break. Uh, the A team. Now, what's weird is this. If I recall correctly, it wasn't always this long of a break. I felt like they used to take off like the week of Christmas, and then like they would come back like the first week of just January and near the end. This one's like they're taking off an entire month. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just completely bugging out here. But I thought it was always shorter than that. But Team of the week, uh, that's it. We will not be getting team of the week tomorrow. We will not be getting everything comes back around January 11th. So that includes like wildcard Wednesday, team of the week, like weekly players. Like that includes like most of our weekly content outside of, I think, Legends. Um, Legends, maybe LTDs, I don't remember, but I know it was wildcard Wednesday and team of the week for sure is gone. Kind of sucks. I know Bo knows should be continuing, but at least, guys, we have the whole Zero Chill promo to look forward to and a little bit of some New Year's content at some point. But let's get into the bonus players so no team of the week predictions for me today i mean i could do them but you won't know what it really is for a while so not exactly that exciting to me we won't know for a whole month pretty much just about like right depending on what day it exactly lands on but moving forward guys the bonus players so today the sets for whatever reason are not live yet that is always awesome when the sets are not live yet it's great so guys i'm gonna take you guys over to these screenshots here because of course they're gonna be late we kind of i should have expected this honestly holiday season when they go away means a few things first off pre-planned content more so than usual great zero chill content and if there's a delay or an issue sometimes it can be very very traumatic in terms of how they like it becomes a whole issue right like it's either they shut down the whole thing they can't get fixes in but things being late should have probably expected that to an extent here but ty law 94 overall cornerback for the patriots Ty Law has been a staple in Mutt for quite a few years now, from team captains to just standard legend cards to ultimate legend cards. 94 speed on Ty Law, that's a great, great speed right there. 93 Excel, that's great. Usually a pretty physical corner. 94 agility, 95 jumping, 91 play rec, 94 man, 94 zone, 95 press. So, again, this is what I want to see. Like, when you power him up, guys, almost all the stats will be 95, besides play rec and, and Excel. But that's going to be a 94, right? But everything will be about a 95, which make me matches up with the 95 overall. Of course, it'll be 96 powered up. His catching should be pretty decent. His hit power and block shit should be decent. I don't think I don't think he's elite there or great there, but I think it's I'm pretty sure his hit power might be decent. Could be wrong entirely on that one. Um, I have to see behind the card for that. But I do know he gets 95 speed with 95 man, 95 zone, 96 press. He's going to be pretty locked. He's going to be a great, great corner to have on your team for quite a while actually, because you know if you put him on a if you, if you power up, if you get to speed up with the, with the strat cards 97, or if you just put him on a theme team, it could be 99 together, right? Uh, with the strat card. So I know that he is. It is possible to make him pretty like maxed out at this point so i could see a way for some people to really rock with this card for quite a while although you know it really just comes down to the the way your team is built and the way you play and if you do a theme team or not but he does look he does look pretty solid he looks pretty solid next up we have cliff branch wide receiver for the oakland raiders another raiders player here crazy how many raiders players we're getting even some new ones like i haven't seen i don't think i've seen cliff branch and mutt ever if not if, if not it's been a while right could be wrong but 94 speed Slot, by the way, slot, slot archetype, which makes him like, you know, slot matic slot apprentice type stuff really cheap. 94 speed. That's great speed. 90 jumping. That means like Tyree Kill, you know, type speed, Brandon Cooks. 94 catching. 94 catching traffic. 91 spec catch. 94 short running. 95 medium running. 95 deeper running. Now, I don't know if you guys have realized, if you guys look at the screen here, where jumping is and where spec catch is, they both are the only two nerf stats in this card too. This is the lower one. This is the lower one. And then same thing here. It's kind of weird. It's like, those are the two that keep him down. But point being is, guys, he's going to be an all-95 route running receiver. Insane. All-95 catching receiver. Well, almost all. With 95 speed. Out of the slot, probably the best slot receiver in the game. Uh, we know we're talking about Tony being pretty good. 
for a budget team, but this guy just makes Tony look like crap. This guy is really, really, really good. I like this Cliff Branch card a lot. And he gets the Raiders Steam team. So, you know, toss him that Raiders Steam team, guys, with the go deep receiver with the plus speed. You're looking at a 99 speed here, right? Like, it's just 95 powered up. You can easily get to 97 with Thieb and then the, the card. It's gonna look, you're looking like 98, 99 with this card. This card's going to be the best slot receiver in the game. He's really, really good. Kevin Mawai, Kevin Mawai, however you say his name, for the Jets. And he's been a, he's been a real staple mud. I remember back when he had his Ghost of Madden cards, like those pixelated-looking Ghost cards back in, like, 13. He's always been around. He had the Snow Beast. He has Legends. He has Ultimate Legends. He's been around for as long as I've been playing mutt. it has been Kevin Mawai, right? That's just been, he's just one of those guys. He's been around. He's always chilling. Great, great center. Um, he breaks the mold a little bit here with these stats being the worst, which they still are the two worst. It's just tied for this one. Now, this card truthfully is a 95, right? Like, if you power up and come up, all the stats would be 96, 95. I'd love to see that. Going to be an elite blocking center. If it, um, I'd imagine that he's also agile, so that means it's, hopefully his speed and excel are pretty decent, as well as his agility, obviously, uh, which makes him a really good zone blocking uh, center. Also, you could probably pull a little bit too, I'd imagine. At that, at that overall, he's going to be able to pull. Kevin Mawai has always been one of the best centers in the game. He's really one of those guys you can just set and forget. Like, you get Kevin Mawai, you can rock with him to, like, February. Really no problem. Powered up. Going to be 96. I mean, you really don't have to replace him. You're going to replace him for a team of the year center. You know, 97 overall, 96 overall team of the year center. Like, a plus one overall. You're really not looking to replace this guy until maybe Ultimate Legends, right? That's going to be the one guy that really gets the 99 stats. Or at the first 99 stats center that really just starts getting a bunch of them. But it usually takes a while for us to start really getting those 99 stat center guys, right? Like that, like Lyman. But Kevin Wise has said it and forget it for quite a while. He shouldn't be too expensive, you know, because of the whole bonus promo does work. And then we have Wilbur Marshall, right outside linebacker. Um, 91 speed. Now, depending on his build, this could be good or bad. He's a run stopper. 91 excel. 87 strength. 91 tackle. 91 play rec. 94 blocks. 92 power move. 82 finesse move. I have a few problems with this card. First and foremost, I wish the strength was a little bit higher. Secondly, I hate when there's a 95 overall card with stats in the 80s. I don't understand how you have two stats in the 80s, three 91s, four 91s, four 91s, two stats in the 80s, stat 92. His highest stat isn't even his overall. I'll never understand that one. This card's, okay, on paper, like, based on this looking stat card here, I don't like the card at all because I don't like how there's such a low overall for a card that's that high of an overall. Secondly, he does get 95 blocks, should power it up. He will be an elite plat power mover guy. He does have good speed. He will be a good outside linebacker, but I just don't like the fact that he has so many low, lower stats than what he should have for that, you know, that overall. Car's not horrible. I don't think it's good. I think it's somewhere between horrible and good uh, average, maybe. I don't know. It's not It's not like it's, it's not a non-usable card. It's definitely usable. Like, it can run stuff past. But how many, how long has it been since we've had a run stuffing pass rushing guy with 90 speed? Like, we've had these guys for months, weeks, at least, right? Um, so I don't really see this as a significant upgrade or anything like that we can be used over guys that we already have. Well, that's pretty much wrap up the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Comment down below if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy. The link and code will be down below in the description. If you guys need coins, my co uh, sponsor will be down there as well. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.